Hey guys, Mr. Barnes here. Um, just giving you a couple of videos from uh, section 8.3, and that of course is on some properties of uh, angles and circles. And uh, today in class we talked about a bunch of stuff, but uh, most importantly we talked about inscribed angles and central angles. Um, so we're going to have a look at that now and do a little review and maybe do a couple of examples. All right, so the first uh, type of angle I'll talk about inside a circle is an inscribed angle. So you see that angle here below. Um, and what you see with this angle is that its vertex is actually on the circle. So it's inscribed inside the circle. So if you look here, the vertex is right on the circle. Okay, the vertex just being the corner of the angle, if you want to call that. All right. Um, and there's another type of angle that we talked about. Another important type of angle is the central angle. And if you see the central angle, its vertex right here. Is it right on the center of the circle? I guess that's where it gets its name. Central angle, the center of the circle. So its vertex is at the center of the circle. So you really have to be able to distinguish between those two types of angles because they do have some properties and they are related. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, inscribed angle and central angle property. If you see, you see we have here the red one being the central angle. Its vertex is at the center, and the black one here. Um, the inscribed angle is vertex. Uh, it's vertex on the circle. So let me just give these a couple of values here. So I'll call this one. Um, let's make up an easy number here. Uh, 100. 100 degrees for that one. And I'll call the next one. 50. And that's not five feet. Okay. Um, what this? What I just did here was I showed you what the uh, inscribe, how inscribed angles and central angles are related. If we have a uh, central angle and an inscribed angle, let's start from the same uh, same spot. So a fancy way of saying that is they share the same arc. So here, uh, let me just give these some letters here. I'll call this uh, let's see. I'll call this one A, and I'll call this one B. Um, so if you look here, this is arc, and it's a minor arc, we talked about that today, uh, arc, A, B. And the, uh, both of the angles, the inscribed and the central angle, share the same arc. So the rule we can say, or the property we can say for that, is that central angle is double the inscribed angle when they share the same arc. So if my central angle is 100, that means my inscribed angle is 50, or the opposite way around. Um, my inscribed angle is 50, then my central angle is 100. Okay, so the, inscribed, the central angle is double the inscribed angle. All right, so that's a very important property you need to know. Um, the next property we're going to talk about was the inscribed angle property. So you see we here have the inscribed angle here in black, and the measure of that is 44. And we also have an inscribed angle here in red. Okay, and again, they share the same arc. Maybe I'll label that the same. color here blue and we got A and we got G so this is the same R A B and remember how we write R so you use my pen tool here um, that's R A B so if you recall um, when inscribed angles share the same R they're equal so what we can say if this is 44 and this is and this angle over here is also 44, so we can write that in. Okay? So, inscribed angles that share the same arc are, are equal, 44. So, um, that's very two distinct properties there, guys, that you really, really need to know. They're um, the basis for this section, 8.3, those two properties. And there are a few other ones that, we'll, that we have learned, and we're going to go into a little bit more detail. And I'll, I'll probably do another video on those as well. So, let's see a couple examples of uh, putting these things into action. All right, so... Uh, example here, find x. So x is down right here. Um, and let's, the idea with these problems is you have to identify what types of angles you have. That's really the key. Sometimes they're tricky to see, sometimes they're not. Um, so if you look here, I got 51, and that's an inscribed angle. Its vertex is on the uh, edge of the circle, on the circle. And I have this angle right here, and that's what we're looking for, x. And that's a central angle. So we just learned the property. But the central angle is double the inscribed angle if they're sharing the same arc. So they are sharing the same arc. So 
this is the same arc, right? For both. So that is the same arc right here. So they share the same arc. So my x is simply two times fifty one. And that's gonna be a hundred and two degrees. And I should put my degree symbols in here. Um, that was terrible. Go. So 51 degrees, and I should be putting my degree symbols in here. Um, I'm just getting a little lazy, but I'd expect that you guys would do that on tests. Um, put my degree symbols in there. Um, so you see that that's not a hard problem if we know the property. If we don't know the property, then you know this could be uh, a more difficult problem. So I'll, I'll even write it in here. This one's equal to 102. All right, let's try one more example, and then uh, I'll give you guys some practice problems. And uh, well, you have already have lots in your book, but uh, you guys should try some of these on your own. Again, that's that's how you get good at this stuff. Um, so we're looking for x and y here. So again, we have to identify um, what type of angles we have here. Okay, so if you look here, um, that's a central angle. Okay, or sorry, an inscribed angle. Right there. Okay. 30 is an inscribed angle. And we have another angle here. That's also an inscribed angle. Okay? And there's a couple more here that we really don't need to know. This angle here, inscribed, and this one here, inscribed. But um, we're mo most focused on these two because if you look at these two, they share this arc right here. So if we know 30, then we also know x. x is. 30. Okay, because they're both inscribed angles, which share the same arc. So that's our property, if you remember. Okay, um, so if this is 30, now I'm looking for y. So another rule we remember from a previous video is that um, three angles of a triangle add to 180 degrees. So if I add these two, so 102 plus. 30, that's equal to 132, of course. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, um, if you want to find y, what you have to do, y is going to be equal to 180 minus 132. And if I've done my math correctly, that's going to be equal to 48. Okay, so y is 48. So, um, that's something obviously the workings might you guys probably do that in your head, um, but I uh, never heard of some workings on the test, of course. But um, that's an, two examples there of how you use these two properties. Hopefully, that's useful, guys. I'll probably be posting a video on semicircle and semicircle property, as well as ma major and minor arc, and a couple more examples of these particular types, maybe the harder examples that you might see. Um, but again, keep tuning in, keep checking out my videos. Thank you very much, guys.